video I'm going to show you guys how to uh, modify the dock. And sorry if my voice is kind of weird but um, I'm not feeling well and my nose is kind of blocked. So anyway let's start. First download the software from the video de description. I can never say that. Description. Description. Yeah. So just download the video from the video description. And when you've installed it, you should get um you should get this window. Okay. This is an awesome software guys. Um it saves a lot of time. You should get this here. This you can read this, just uh um, this tells you what the software is. So click on style and color. So now you can, here you can change in the dock. Can you, you can change it to 2D or 3D. Um, change the indicator style, separator style, translucent, translucent icon. Um, what this says that when your icon is, when your application is on, the icon turns translucent I don't really like that but anyway uh, you change 2D dock outline or 3D dock style so let's change it a bit okay I'm going to change indicator style to um, de default style custom color I can just change it I like it this color so okay, um, uh, then, and remember, guys. Whenever you want to change a uh, uh, change something, go here. Default style custom color. You click that. Now you can change the color of the separate style, and that's that. That we think, you know, that. Anyway, um, I'm gonna keep it yellow and dark style. Uh, default style custom color. Um. Yeah, I'm leaving it black. So, after you've done whatever you want to do, just press apply. Um, just ask for my registration. So, okay. Um, after you've done that, dock will reset. Um, yeah, it goes down. See, it's changed. It's yellow. It's blue. See that? And um, just. That was really easy as you can see. Um, then you go to setting your stacks. Now you change more stuff. You change icon sizes. Um, just change if you want the icons bigger or whatever. Without, mag without magnifying it. Magnifying it. And stacks and spacers. If you take this, you can do this. Like If you go to stacks, grid view. See this, like a, like a white light coming or some of that. It's like a white square box whenever you go over a application or icon, whatever. See this white thingy? Yeah. That's what it basically is. If you take it, um, highlight the stacks item under the cursor. Yes, yeah, just if you take it. This starts coming, and this one. Add favorites, add favorites, decent stacks. Uh, I'm not sure what it does, but just mess about with it, mess about with it. Add spaces. Remember my la my um, older video that um, showed you how to do these dock spacers, but you need to go into terminal. In this application, if you just click it, dock resets. Uh, she come. Come on. All right, here. See that is another spacer. Just by clicking that, another speaker spacer comes. And that is a lot easy, a lot easier than going to your terminal. So that is really good. Just adding spacers, really fast. You can uh, positions, bottom right, left, wherever. Pen position, middle, start, end. Now, this, if you take it, just um, you can decide how much you want to magnify when you go over it. See that? 
Let me put the full. I'll go crazy. Watch. I put the full. 512 megapixels. Apply. Now I'm just go um, restart. And watch this. Oof. That is crazy, isn't it? But I really don't recommend doing this. But uh, if you guys want to mess around with it, so I'll put it back to 47. Play. So you can always change it. Um, nothing's permanent. Uh, all right, here. See, let's go back to normal. You can always store Apple default. Um, uh, that so you can just mess about. Animate opening applications automatically. Hide the dock. Show only open applications. Prevent icon from bouncing. Make all dock items spring loaded. Hide app hide background applications. And minimize effect. Actually change minimize minimize effect. Like when you do that. And that minimize effect to change it to scale suck genie. Genie is the default one. And yeah, and you can change these icons. We have PNG file to change it, but I, won't, I don't recommend changing them. Uh, you can lock it so no one else can change it. And you can always delete if you want. That's it, guys. Um, just mess around with this. It's a really good app, really good free application. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.